Hey, what is up everybody? This is Mark and today I'm excited to introduce you to one of our newest files, the set of tiered shelves. When I first started working on these, my intent was to make something a little bit different than what you would normally see to display things like earrings on cards. There are lots of designs out there that have hooks on them, things like that, and those are great. But I wanted something just a little bit different. And I thought, you know what? I'll use this as an example for a, uh, a carded earring. I thought, you know what? It'd be nice if you had a shelf or a stacked bunch of shelves where you could just lean the card like this and then have several of them uh, leaned like that. Sometimes in some environments that might be easier. And I thought, you know what? It'd also be cool if I could make something a little stop that would help stand them up that's adjustable. So I did that where you could move this one all the way back to help it stand up if, um, I'm going to drop this too. Help it stand up and uh, depending on how many you have there. So I started out by making this one right here and I call it the two by one, which means that it's two tall and one wide. And I thought that one's pretty cool. That one works really well. And I made it so it would hold essentially the space of a four inch square, just like that. And then I thought, well, let's make some more of those. So I made just one that's just one little section. And then of course the two, and then I made one that's uh, two by two like this. And then I made a two by three and then a one by three. And then of course we have six different ones including all the way up to the big one right here, the three by three. And these are so easy to put together and so easy to actually take apart if you need to travel with them for example because all of the pieces are repeating and they're easy to remember how to put together. I'll walk you through those in just a moment, but I'll show you the side pieces. The two side pieces are identical because they have a slot here for this shelf and a slot here for the back. And all of the shelves are exactly the same piece over and over again. And so it doesn't matter which one's the top or which one's the bottom, which one's the back piece. Uh, I'll show you how this one works. So this right here is a piece that repeats for the vertical or the horizontal piece on all of these. So it doesn't make a difference which one it is. It goes together really quickly and easily just by sliding it in and sliding it down into this little slot here. No glue is needed. You can take them apart. You can pack them away and put them up together again whenever you need them. So I think you're really going to love these. Let me start by showing you how this one takes apart and puts back together. And then I'll walk you through the files as well. All right, I'm going to walk you through the assembly of the two by one shelf. They all work exactly the same way. And once you see how this works, you're going to see that it's very, very easy. So all of the shelves start with the two side pieces. And of course, they might be a different height depending on how tall the actual shelf is. In this case, you'll see I got two like this that have two slots here indicating that it's the two uh, section tall. So I'm going to grab these. And then because it's two sections tall, I need a total of four of these shelf pieces. These are all exactly the same. It doesn't matter if they go like this or if they go like this. They're exactly the same piece so they can be vertical or horizontal. It doesn't make a difference. And I need two of these for each section. So there's one, two, and then three, four. So I've got all four of these and I've got my two side pieces. So let me show you how this goes together. I wanna to give you one little key that'll help you do it even better and faster each time. Put in the vertical pieces before you put in the horizontal. Let me show you how that works. So grab either one of the side pieces and you'll just slot this right in like this. And when it goes in there, you're gonna just push it down until it clicks down just like that, right in that little uh, tab there. And then we can go ahead and put the other one in too. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I'll put the other, the other vertical one. Let's put the other vertical one like this. You can do it either way. But now we've got both of those in like that. And then I'll take the side piece here, the other one, and I'll just line those up like that, stick them right through the slot. And again, when it gets in line with that uh, tab there, I'll put it down for just a second, and push them down until they click, just like that. And then we're almost done. All we do now is grab the other two pieces and you slot them right in like this 
and you push them back until they uh, hit the vertical piece in the back, just like, definitely do this on a table instead of up in the air because it's a whole lot easier on the table than uh, in the air, just like that until it hits the back. And then the other one goes the same exact way, just like that. And then if you want to use the little tabs to hold things uh, in place, you can place them wherever you want, just like this. Like if you want to hold up some business cards, for example, then you can put it toward the back there and it'll stand up just like that. But you can put those in wherever you want or don't use them whichever you prefer. But all of these shelves go together exactly the same way, just like that. So let's now walk through the file now that I've showed you that and I'll show you the pieces. Oh, one more thing before we get to the file. I forgot to show you this part. There's also these dividers that look just like this. And this slot right here goes right down into these notches right there, right there, and so forth. And you can put these in wherever you want or leave them out. It doesn't matter. But wherever you want to put them in, you simply slide them down on that notch just like that. And you can put them in both places. You can put just one of them in. You can leave them out, whichever you prefer. But most all of them have that as an option, so you can use those if you want to. Now let's jump into the file. All right, now we're going to walk through the file for the 2x2 two 4-inch two, one. But they all, again, they work exactly the same way. Uh, the titles will either say uh, BBLD 4-inch 2x2, two two, or if you're using the 5-inch space, it'll be BBLD 5-inch 2x2 two two, or whichever one you're using. Again, they all work the same way. So let's walk through this file here and I'll identify each one of the pieces. First, as always, let's read the text there first. It says black equals cut, slot size equals 0.14. Let me pause there for a minute because it says it's made for 8-inch material. And 8-inch, of course, is 0.125. And typically, most of your materials are not going to actually be 0.125. It would be a little smaller. But I painted these, so I needed the slots to be a little bit larger to accommodate for how thick this becomes when I paint it. I assume a lot of you are going to do the same thing as I did. Now, technically, there's no way for me to know how thick your material is, and there's definitely no way for me to know how much thickness you add when you paint it, because you could use different brands, you could use several coats, and so on. So that's going to have to be up to you to know how big your slots need to be to accommodate for that. I can't really help you there a whole lot because I don't know all the variables in your case. But for me, the 0.14 worked just fine for my materials after painting. One other thing you want to keep in mind is if you're planning on assembling this and never taking it apart again, that's one thing. But if you're going to travel and take this apart, put it back together a lot, you might want the uh, slots really pretty loose because it doesn't need glue to stay together. But you're going to want to be able to pull it apart and put it back together easily. So just bear that in mind as well. If you do need help adjusting slots, feel free to check out my tutorials or you're welcome to message me. If I can help you, I will. I cannot be an expert on everybody's um, vector software, so uh, that's not my responsibility, but it is my pleasure to help if I can. So just keep that in mind. All right. So now let's walk through the pieces. You've got um, the two side pieces. I'll jump around a little bit. This big piece right here is a side piece and you got two of those. One and two. And then you've got the uh, various little tabs that you can put in here. Those are completely optional. Cut as many or as few as you want. The rectangles there you've got here right at the top. Zoom in a little bit. You got those rectangles there. And of course, you've got a long one that's an option too that can go across both of these if you prefer. So you got your two sides. And then of course, you've got, again, these pieces are all identical. This piece here and the back piece, this piece and the back piece. So you got four, one, two, three, four, which you'll see there in the file. And again, there's a few more uh, divide or um, uh, tabs there. And then you also have the pieces I showed you earlier, like this one right here, that slide right down like there to uh, be a divider if you want those. And that's all of the pieces for this one. And they're all, again, exactly the same. I made sure I included a photo up there so you can get another visual example of what it's supposed to look like. When you load this in your laser software, I recommend that you delete these pieces and or pieces, the picture and this text because it'll make it easier on you because it doesn't need to be there once you've read it all. And again, you don't need to cut any of the tabs or the dividers if you're not going to use them. Just cut the ones that you need. But all of these go together the same way. So hopefully all those videos helped you. 
I just want to take one more second to walk through some possibilities for these shelves to give you some ideas if you need any. Of course, it's really easy to put your business cards in here in any one of those spots. So I would definitely do that if you have space. But you can, again, put these tabs wherever you want. You can put the dividers in or take them out. If you take it out, you might have a large space like you see in the picture there for something like this to go here. You can even put candles or whatever you're selling. You can put those right in like that. It's really versatile. You can put a lot of different things in these besides earrings. So let your mind run and decide what you can display on these. And let me know if you have any questions. And of course, I'd love to see what you guys make with these and how much they help you. So let me know if you have any questions. But until then, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Go make something cool. See you in the groups.